Hello there, I'm Malika and I have been a foot model since 2018. Let's talk about what the foot community is. In my last video about feet pics selling lies, I said a lot about the foot community and how you needed to join it, but I wasn't really clear on exactly what it is. And that's because it's not a concrete place. The foot community is not a specific group of people. It's not a specific platform that you can join. It's not even a specific Reddit group. The foot community that I'm referring to is the long-standing community of customers and models who have been around for a long time. The way to join this community, it does not matter where you start. You can start on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, Facebook, wherever you want to start. In order to join the community, you need to be respectful of both the clients, the fans, and the other models that are your coworkers. That is the basic thing about this community. Even if you don't ever talk to a specific model or follow a specific model, you might not even know that model exists. She's your coworker. Why? Because the fans that have been around for decades even, this foot community online has been around for 20 plus years. That is longer than some of you guys have been alive. And the fans and clients are the meat and potatoes, the bread and butter, if you will, of this foot community. And they are how we are all connected to one another. We all share the same clients. It's super important not to get frustrated that one client is buying the same content from another woman because we all share clients and this is how we're all connected. So in order to join the community, you simply have to be respectful to everybody because you never know which one of those fans or clients will have been in this community for 20 plus years. You also never know what model has been in this community for 20 plus years. And what happens the longer you stay inside this foot community or the fetish community as a whole, you meet more and more clients and you build a reputation for yourself. If your reputation is that you are stuck up, that you scam clients, that you don't care about other models and you have zero interest in working with other models, that you're unfriendly, that is going to be your reputation and you're not really going to be part of the community. But the more people see you are reliable, you're friendly, you're outgoing, you're supportive of other models and you're supportive of the fans, that's going to show and people are going to share your work. People are going to want to work with you. Even if you're not the type of model that wants to work with other models, which is completely fine. If you don't want to collab, it doesn't mean that you're not part of the foot community. It's all about being online and your online presence within the foot fetish community. Are you commenting positive things on other women's posts? Are you being supportive with shares or retweets or whatever it is? Are you asking to join whatever chat group they are in? Personally, I started on Instagram knowing nothing about the foot community. I didn't know anything about anything when I started. And luckily enough, I don't even know how it happened. It was just through who I was following and started chatting with and being friendly with. I joined the Fancy Foot Girls with Ashley Fancy Feet. And through that, I met so many wonderful women who all looked out for each other. If there was a scammer client, we all knew about it. If there was someone who was not problematic, we all knew about it. We were able to look out for each other and share information with each other. So there are a bunch of small groups within the greater community. Because no matter what platform you start on, no matter what group you start the community in, they're all interconnected. Because again, all the clients and the fans are pretty much the same across the board. Now there are newer foot fans to the online presence that may not know everybody. Just like in every workspace environment, you want to create a positive space for your coworkers or your clients who you are trying to get money from, right? You want them to buy things from you. So if you are known to be disrespectful or not friendly, it's going to show, especially because this is a public platform, you are publicly being rude, so it's going to show. And honestly, the fans do have pages that shout out bad models, whether they are rude, whether they scam, whether 
They take too long to respond. Whatever it is, these guys talk to each other as well as models talking to each other. So it's super important as part of the community as a whole to be friendly. And that is pretty much what the foot community is. We are all going to know each other at some point. The longer you're in it, the more people you will know, will have contact with, the more connections you'll make. It's very much about networking. When I started, I only knew the foot side of things. I didn't know anything about the greater fetish community until I met Miss Whitney Morgan, who is incredible. She's been in this industry for over 20 years. And through her, I met the greater fetish community of models who definitely work with other people. Because on the foot side of things, I would say that most people do not collab. The girls that sell feet pics like I started out as don't collab with other models. But when you get to the fetish side of things, that's all that content is. You are, yes, making your POV content, but it's super important in the fetish community to work with other people. And that's how I started getting the real knowledge of the community was when I started truly working with other people and reaching out and following more people, gaining more fans through them because that's what happens when you network. You get more fans and more client the more you network. So what should you do to join? I suggest following as many people as you can. Start commenting under their posts and people, I mean the models and the shout out pages. Shout out pages are more important than you think. They will get your page seen, not only by clients and followers, but also by other models. And then through that, you can find other models that you wanna connect with. Maybe you guys make the same type of content or you just like the content that she makes, follow her and tell her that. That is how you kind of build your own little group inside the community. You'll start to be part of the greater foot community slowly, just like I did. And you should definitely be cross-posting across multiple platforms, following a bunch of people, being friendly to the people that want to shout you out. Because like I said, the fans are the bread and butter of our community. They're the ones that share our content. They're passionate about our content. So being respectful to them is super important and it also means a lot to them. And honestly, why would you not want to make somebody feel nice who's being nice to you or about what you make? Now, with that being said, there are predatory shout out pages that will want you to send a bunch of custom feet pics in order to shout you out. Be careful for those ones because of course there are predators everywhere. If they are willing to shout you out with the content that you already have posted, those are the ones that you need to stick with. And I guarantee you, a lot of those guys have been here a long time and they can introduce you to the models who have been around for a long time. So even if you're at a place where you don't think you ever want to collab with another model, it's okay. It's still important in your career in this business, and it is a business, it is a career if you want to make it one, it's important to be respectful of the fans and the customers and the other models. There are groups within the community that can be very catty. I just recommend not getting involved with the cattiness because obviously the cattiness spreads throughout the community, especially the tight-knit fetish community. The cattiness can spread and people will stop working with you or not want to work with you or not want to buy things from you because of it. So I just recommend avoiding that sort of thing altogether. It does tend to get high schooly in some groups. So just pick wisely and you don't even have to pick one specific group of models or fans to hang out with. You can be in a bunch of different groups. You can be in groups in every single platform that you're in. Because again, the fans are across and the models are across multiple platforms. And eventually, we are all going to know each other through the connections and the networking that we do. I hope I have explained kind of what the foot community is and how to join simply by being a good human. <laughs> simply by being respectful to not only the fans and followers and buyers, but also to your fellow models who are your co-workers. That is how you be part of the community. That is what the foot community is. It is just the online presence of what we're doing here, which is selling feet pics.
And as you know from my feet pick selling lies, you're not really selling feet pics. It's more videos and your membership sites and all that other fun stuff. But since that is the keyword, feet pics is what I mean. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shed light on what it actually means. I hope I wasn't too babbly. And I hope you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you later. Bye.